السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم، الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. ورب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي. We begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him, we thank Him for everything that He has provided for us. We thank Him for everything that He has not provided for us because it is better for our deen, our dunya, our akhirah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Upon him, his companions, his household, and of course all of you as well, inshaAllah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward us and bless us for being, mashallah, the second Saturday of the month of Ramadan. Soon before we know it, we're going to be saying the taqbirat for Eid, inshaAllah, and this month is going to slip us by. And I'm asking you the same way I ask myself, what have you accomplished? And if I haven't accomplished anything, there is still time, inshaAllah. There's still time. It is not a day, it's not an event, it's a journey. We can take this journey, reprogram ourselves, go back to the drawing board and fix our month of Ramadan. It's okay, inshallah. We can make something happen. It's okay if it's not going according to how you want it to uh, go. If you're not reading enough Quran, enough uh, you know, voluntary prayers, it's okay. Go back to the drawing board. Go back and reestablish your plan and start doing it now, inshallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it a very effective and efficient and good Ramadan for all of us, inshallah. I mean, today, of course, we start off with the same series that we've left off on, on the 99 names of Allah, using the 99 names of Allah to improve your lives. And when you want to improve them, starting now. When we start this off in the next 10 minutes or so, when you're in sujood, saying the name that you are learning. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has explained to us that if you would like to enter Jannah, it's a very simple technique. If you memorize the names of Allah, the 99 names of Allah, you are guaranteed into entry into Jannah, inshallah. But there are some qualities and qualifications for this key to work and unlock that door of Jannah, that gate of Jannah. For that to work, one of the teeth has to be memorizing the name. That's part of it. A lot of us would know it in the form of a nasheed. A lot of us have memorized this, uh, the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the form of a nasheed. That's part of the tooth. The second hinge of that tooth is knowing and understanding its meaning, which is something that a lot of us lack, including myself. So memorizing the name and knowing its meaning, then the third thing to truly show that you understand its meaning is knowing how to apply that name. That's the third tooth of that key. And for that key to finally work, you have to start calling Allah by that name. Now the best part about calling Allah by this name is the fact that it makes your salah no longer dull. It's not some you know, muscle memory thing that you do in, you know, in sujood, you just say the same subhanahu wa and just go on and go, no. You could pause and say, you know what, I just learned this new name of Allah, let me use it, let me apply it. So inshallah, the name that we are talking about tonight, inshallah, is a name that we often know, we often hear, but we don't apply it or understand this meaning often, and that's Al-Mu'min. Al-Mu'min, one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Mu'min, which means the, the grantor of security and peace and iman and faith. He is the one who secures you, that feeling of security when you know everything's gonna be shined inshallah, that's Al-Mu'min. That feeling that everything is gonna be okay, that you feel safe and secure, that's Al-Mu'min. Now the beautiful part about this name, my brothers and sisters, is that one of the levels of Iman is someone who is a mu'min. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved that level of Iman to be associated with His name. That's how powerful His name is. That's how powerful and tough it is to reach that level of Iman. And we all, inshallah, strive to be a, to be a mu'min, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us a mu'min as well. Ameen. <laughs> this name means to be the, the one who grants security, the one who grants faith, the one who grants security to your faith. When your faith and your iman is a little rocky, when your iman levels are dipping down, it is al-mu'min who brings it back up. We believe that your iman level fluctuates, that's very normal. But the one who brings it back up and you don't go spiraling in the wrong direction is al-mu'min, he's the one who brings it up. So one of the ways to apply this beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that whenever you and I are in trouble, whenever you and I are in trouble, the first person being that we call is Al-Mu'min by that specific name. When your car is broken down, you say Al-Mu'min, Ya Al-Mu'min, the one who is establishing security in my heart, Ya Allah, fix everything. 
fix everything, Ya Allah. Ya As-Salam, one of the names we spoke about last Saturday, the one who grants you peace and security as well. Ya As-Salam, please grant security to my life. Please grant security to my finances. Whenever you are in trouble, the one who takes care of that trouble every single time is Al-Mu'min. That is who Allah is, Al-Mu'min. So when you and I are in trouble, when you're having business difficulties, an exam that's difficult, or something in your life that's a problem, maybe it's a marital issue, maybe it's financial difficulties, like I said, business. Maybe it's some type of difficulty, maybe it's health. You call out to Al-Mu'min, the one who is responsible for giving you that calmness in your heart that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. When things don't go your way, call out to Al-Mu'min. When you miss that bus, that train, you're late in traffic and you know you got to get somewhere really, really fast, call out to Al-Mu'min. He is the one who grants you peace, stability, security, and raises your Iman back. MashaAllah, we just heard beautiful verses of Surah Yusuf. Beautiful verses. And Yusuf alayhi salam is tossed inside of the well. Who else would he call out to but besides Al-Mu'min? He believed that Allah is going to take care of everything. Not even a shadow of a doubt crossed his mind. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not take care of everything. It is Al-Mu'min who is responsible for the faith. He is responsible to giving that heart a little more security. How many of us, the only time we remember Al-Mu'min, the only time we remember Allah is when we are in severe trouble. We see those red and blue lights behind us and we're reading out the Kursi immediately. Facts, true, yes? Why? Because we know the one who can take care of everything is Al-Mu'min. It's in us. It's innate. It's something in us. We know Allah has established that Iman in our heart that when something is desperately wrong, oh, I need to call out to Allah. You're reading the same dua that, you know, Yunus alayhi salam made in the belly of the whale. You're reading the same dua that Ibrahim alayhi salam made before getting tossed in the fire just for some cops. When things aren't going right, you and I call out to Allah in the most sincerest way. That's how we need to be with Allah every single time. Let us not wait until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places us in a difficulty that will shake us up. Let's call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of muscle memory. Let's make it into a positive good habit, inshallah, where we call out to Al Mu'min all the time. So He's always granting us security, inshallah. Ameen. The last, one of the final ways to apply this beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by re establishing faith in people's hearts, re establishing trust in people's hearts. Sometimes when we get betrayed in society, in business, something, something goes wrong. Wallahi, the first thing we're always, our walls go up. We become defensive. We don't trust people because, ah, last time the brother said the same thing. He said, Wallahi, and the same thing happened. I'm not going to trust you for your word. One of the names we can apply the same of Al-Mu'min is by reestablishing trust and faith in humanity. If someone wronged you, don't hold it against them. They were weak. They were weak, make an excuse for them, they were weak. Don't assume everyone is gonna wrong you. If someone has wronged someone else, be that person who re-establishes security in their hearts, re-establish faith in humanity. That is al-mu'min, that's one of the ways to apply this name. So many people have business dealings where it's such a sour business dealing that they never trust anyone after that. I want you and I to be the people who re-establishes that faith in people's hearts. When someone loses trust in humanity, when someone loses faith or something in society, you and I as Muslims need to be the ones who reestablishes that faith in their heart. That is one of the ways we can apply this name of Al-Mu'min. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all. I ask Amen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all goodness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to call up by this beautiful name of Al-Mu'min. Whoever is going through any difficulty, whether that's through health, finances, business, school, whatever it is, marital issues, having trouble getting married, whatever it might be, we ask Al-Mu'min, the owner of security, peace, tranquility, as-salam, the one who owns faith to strengthen our iman Allah please make it easy for us al mumin please ya Allah make it easy for us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you jazakallah for listening subhanallah wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk